profesional. En realidad, tengo que confesarles. guys it's an awesome day today and uh, I can't wait for the day to begin I have our special guest coming I won't tell you who it is but she asked me to prepare a meal she's a Colombian woman and she's coming to cook you probably know who it is you based off of the thumb thumbnail all right yeah so she's she asked me to start cooking something and so well it's not really cooking something but I'll show you guys hold on so she's coming now and she wants me to be ahead of the game all right so I just peeled some carrots and beets and I put them here so she just wants me to boil that so I just started boiling it I don't know what she's gonna do with it but we're ahead of the game can't wait for her to come she really set the bar high the fact that she was able to accomplish so much by herself so quick she is as if she lived here she ran through that kitchen so quick <laughs> you can tell someone that cook and then you got you can tell somebody that cook cook but anyways, I can't wait for the cup, so let's just wait and see what's, what she got going on. All right, guys, there she is. There she is. A lot of you guys been asking, Donde esta mini princesa? Africana, Colombiana. She up in the building, and she cooking us something today. A lot of you guys been asking, so I deliver more. Que va cocinar, po? Ah. <laughs> Bueno, hoy vamos a cocinar una receta que es muy común para esta, para esta temporada de Semana Santa y es un arroz de coco con frijoles, ensalada de payaso o ensalada roja y pescado en salsa de coco. Ok, so basically, guys, she's going to be cooking a traditional meal that is known that they cook around this time for the, the Holy Week, ok? So, it sounds like it's gonna be some rice involved, some fish involved, and you guys, y'all good with translation, y'all help your boy out. And so, I need to go pick up some more ingredients. Leche de coco, okay. coco previamente rallado, y el cual vamos a colar ahorita. So this is like uh, milk, uh, coconut milk right here, okay. 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 Para, y también tenemos estas verduritas, tenemos pimentón, ají dulce, eh, ajo, Cebolla y nos falta el tomate so, para completar el sudado de, de so, pescado. So we have all these ingredients that this, she's going to be adding with the fish, but I'm missing the tomato, which I'm about to go get. This is actually un, una dulce. ¿Cómo se llama este? Ají dulce. Ají dulce right here, guys. Okay. So it's hard to find in Exito, but they had, she was able to find some. Okay. Para nuestro arroz. Mm -hmm. For the rice. Vamos a usar también leche de coco. Mm -hmm. A, eh, frijoles que ya están previamente cocidos y pues por supuesto el arroz y para eh, también tenemos una ensalada y la ensalada es como les dije ahorita es ensalada de payaso ensalada roja como la llamamos aquí y viene con eh, remolacha zanahoria y papa la papa la cocinamos al final Porque es más fácil de cocinar. Oh, you see, this is a chef. Um, Esta chef. Tarda más. So basically, guys, uh, what she just said, I'm gonna see if I could do the best translated. Ah, el pescado. Mostremos el pescado. Este pescado okay. es un pescado super delicioso. Se llama róbalo. Y bueno, espero que les guste la preparación final. All right. So this is the name of the. It's the fish. Se llama róbalo. Okay. So this is a special. Um, type of fish they have here. If you guys know the name in English, please comment down below. Um, this is going to be for a salad right here. There's prunes in there, carrots in there. You saw your boy. You know, I whipped that up in the video. Uh, now, this is going to be for the rice right here, guys. So, she, nosotros va a hacer uh, coco rice? Sí, claro. Vamos a hacer arroz de coco. Para el arroz de coco, vamos a usar también leche de coco. Okay, so coconut milk. Y el Agua con que cocinamos los frijoles nos va a servir también para cocinar nuestro arroz. Okay, she came pretty much prepared. Actually, her mama 
I already started seizing some of this stuff right here. So it's gonna be like straight the, the palenque way. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get it the palenque way. Ya preparate. Ya esto está sazonado o si preparado con sal y limón. So it's already been um, prepared with the salt and lemon. Um, her mom already did that. So that's dope. And I'm assuming it came low acid at the coco. Well, to compro? Uh, claro, co compré el coco, el mm. coco real, ¿verdad? No, coco, da, el arroz que viene ya listo, sino que eh, compré el coco real, mm. lo partí, lo saqué y después lo rayamos. Mm -hmm. Y eh, con el agüita del frijol, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Lo que hicimos fue eh, completar la, el agua para cocinar el arroz. So basically everything was made with scratch guys. So they actually bought a coconut and um, was able to extract that. Leche de coco mm -hmm. y agua con la que cocinamos los frijoles. Están mezclados. Pero como necesitamos sacar el exceso, lo colamos. Hacemos presión mm. para extraer la leche. Mira. Oh wow. So there's more to it guys, so that was just the beginning with the coconut rice and um, basically what she said, she um, used the water that was used to um, boil the beans and they added into the coconut um, extract milk and then now they're just pouring it out and... Después de colar. Alright, now she, I guess colar means uh, maybe uh, boil it up or something? Okay, that's what's up. Okay. okay. Y repetimos esto hasta que tengamos la cantidad de agua suficiente mm. para cocinar el arroz. There it goes guys, so she's basically saying that she's going to continue to repeat this process until she feels like she has enough for, um, to cook for the rice. Oh yeah, we get into techniques today. Hay personas. <laughs> There's people. Que, que el coco lo parten en cuadritos y después lo licúan. Pero pues a nosotros, a mí me gusta eh, rayarlo y después hacemos esto. Okay, there's people that do a different technique, uh, but she, this is her way of doing it pretty much. She just, um, just likes to strain it this way. You know what, I can see why. Maybe it just gives you more, more of a potent taste when it comes to the coconut rice, okay? So, not bad. All right. Hay algo, cuando cociné el frijol, ya le agregué eh, la sal y un poquito de azúcar para que le dé un toque de... Ok, ok, so when you um, cook the um, beans, tiene que poner un salt y un poco de azúcar. And so you're going to have to put some sugar and some, um, and some salt when you're baking, the, or I guess, um, boiling the beans. Ahora, okay. oh, con agüita still... sola, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. vamos a extraer leche de coco. Para nuestro wow, okay, so now that we uh, strain out what we could, and now we're still gonna use this to get some more um, a coconut milk. So I guess this is what the process is, right? You just squeeze and keep squeezing it, right? And then she's gonna use that extract now and mix it into the fish. Me and her were just recently talking about going to uh, maybe a uh, area, una barrio, so pretty much we were considering maybe going to a barrio where um, Una gran comunidad de there's like a good community of Afro uh, um, Colombians and pretty much see if we can donate some food to them all right so I'm gonna figure out a way because I know like I go to Exit Tool, we have like packets. Shout out to Love Crossing Borders, he's been doing that in his channel. So I'll try to do that. We don't want to be concentrated on just two people, you know what I'm saying? So I want to really help other people who really need it. So we, we're in the works of figuring that out and I also want to drop some um, food to the orphanage, all right, guys? So, you know, we home, we might as well help some people out, you know what I'm saying? So I think that'll be dope to see, all right? So stay tuned. That'll be that's, that'll be next week's project, pretty much. <laughs> okay? Es this is mismo. like science. Extraemos la leche de esta manera. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's, it's the same. It's pretty much the same. You probably can fry that. Puede frita este, huh? No? ¿Cómo? No puede comer este? ¿Cuál? 
El coconut. Ahora, pues. <laughs> She's like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? <laughs> ¿Qué está hablando? <laughs> sí, no, ya no se puede. Yeah, no, nah, don't do that. I, I do it. <laughs> si fuese antes de extraer leche, sí. Pero ya. Okay, if you were, you could have fried it if you didn't take the the milk out, but now it's like not even worth it. That's what she said. All right, I need to stay in my lane and just record. All right. I hear ya guys, I hear ya. Stay in my lane. Let the professionals do the cooking. <laughs> Yo no soy profesional. Oh, no, no profesional, profesional amor. No. Ya yeah, profesional. En, en realidad, tengo uh -huh. que confesarles. She gotta que confess. Yo no tengo ningún estudio en cocina. Yo no soy chef. Y tampoco es que sea... No chef. soy chef. No. She said in reality, she's, es... she's not professional. <laughs> dale, dale, dale. Okay, go en go realidad, uh -huh. eh, mi aprendizaje ha sido empírico. He aprendido porque mi mamá sabe cocinar muy bien y ella es quien me ha enseñado. Por eso ustedes verán que yo no uso mucha terminología técnica, ¿verdad? Propia de la cocina, mm. pero igual lo hago con mucho amor. Mm. So, basically, she, she wanted to learn because her mom is such an awesome chef and she must be an awesome person. Just look at her. I ain't gonna lie. Mama got it going on, right? And so, pretty much, she made sure she learned how to do it. Just because her mama is this a good chef, and it, it's this a pride, she's this prideful, just learning. Bueno, okay. esta ya es la, el, la uh -huh. esta es la leche que vamos a usar para eh, guisar o sudar nuestro pescado. Pretty much, guys, this is the milk we're gonna be using with the, like she said, that she's gonna, I, I guess, put some flavor into the the fish. So it's gonna be nice and cocoed up. All right, guys, so here is a, like a close-up of the coconut that was just pretty much chopped down to small pieces. And then I guess between the juice that's inside the coconut and the, maybe a little bit more added water, they can extract the milk. Yo, my boy, okay? Okay, yo te espero, tranquilo. Okay, I have to tell her, because you see how fast she goes, she'll give her brother a break. <laughs> so I told her I'm gonna go get the missing ingredients, which is tomatoes and uh, uh, potato. Let's go. Yo, I got it guys, interesting fact guys. I had to beg her to come cook for us again, okay? Now she was coming to cook already, but she didn't want to be on camera. But I had to convince her. See, I told her like she's really natural on camera, bro. She really is, man. All right, so in the comments, man, give her, give her a little praise, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, her, let her feel good, cause she'll read these comments too, all right? Anyways, thanks. All right, guys, so she's getting ready uh, to create the salad. Should be interesting, she has a potato right there. All right, so now that she's uh, almost done cutting the potato, she's going to, let's find it, all right. Put it in a boil of water, I mean in a pot of water, and I guess she's gonna boil that as well, all right? Ahora vamos a encender este. Ya vamos a poner a cocinar nuestro arroz, y también vamos a sellar los pescados, para después, all right, so now guys, we're gonna go with the rice and we are also gonna prepare. Okay. You know, poque, poquito. She's oh. small, girl. <laughs> she was a short girl. All right, so pretty much, guys, uh, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the rice right here. Let's get this right. Okay, she's like, yeah, I'm small. <laughs> you're small, but you uh, you kind of you kind of chunky in a couple so ways. Okay. Guys, she's getting preparing the pan. Este aceite es para sellar nuestros pescados. Okay, that's for the uh, the fish, just to fry the fish. Ahora vamos a medir la cantidad de arroz que vamos a usar para nuestra preparación. All right, so she's getting she's getting the right amount of rice. All right. Yo no sé de esto, pero yo creo que son cuatro. She don't know, but she's eyeball, eyeballing it. All right, okay, girl, we got you. Right. <laughs> she says she's small, but she can get that up. All right, got you, girl. So now she ba uh, basically uh, washing the rice. All right, get in there nice and you know, a little wash of wash. Ah, uh, estamos esperando que, que empiece a hervir, verdad, para poder agregarle el arroz. Okay, so she says she's waiting for that that broth to just start bubbling, so she could just drop it in there. So, all right, so she can fuse the rice with the coconut milk extract. Bueno. All right. 
mientras, mientras eso pasa y mientras esto se enfría para cortarlo. Okay, she's gonna wait for these things to just um, freeze up a little bit, get a little cold, so she can chop those things up. She's gutting the insides of the different type of peppers. Um, they have those large peppers here, right here, guys, and then um, also the tomatoes right there. Yo necesito que, que, que todas esas personas que te están viendo, que nos están viendo, ¿verdad? Eh, ahora que pase toda esta cuestión de 19, visiten este país, visiten esta ciudad, visiten eh, esta cultura. De verdad que es un buen sitio eh, para conocer. Aha! Bravo! <laughs> so basically, guys, uh, she was saying like, look, if you're watching the video, man, and you enjoy the stuff, I hope this inspires you to come to visit the city, visit the country. It's a, you know, it's a beautiful country, you know what I'm saying? And there's all these different cultures involved and stuff, and I'm adding on to it exactly what she said. And I probably missed some words. Y'all help me out in the comments. Oh, nice. Okay, so the potatoes are at a nice boiling temperature right now. Okay. And she's waiting for that. She put a lot of oil in there too, guys. Nice. Okay. The, I, my mom actually made uh, some fried fish for us in Miami. We, were, <laughs> we had lost some power and so my mom actually cooked some uh, fish for us outside in the backyard i record at this early days ace if you look at my channel look at my earlier videos it's probably like one of the first videos you'll see like my mom cooking you don't see her face though <laughs> but she, you see her cooking though yeah i'm from miami guys if you don't know so like a hurricane hit us and we like we lost a lot of power oh ante? Antes de, de sudar. so she says she's going to fry the fish up before she adds the sauce Yo and, lo hago así. that's the way she do it Pero porque es más mejor que pienso porque que así eh, tiene más sabor se it, sella se sella mejor uh, it, it, it seasons way better and it's a lot more flavor to it so she likes to do it after the fry so we'll just we'll just see what she does you know what I'm saying if you're watching this video guys and you're enjoying the um, visuals man this hit this like up some of you guys I know you're just so into the video you forget to uh, hit the like button. Hit the like button. It really helps the channel, man. So I appreciate it. Thank you already in advance. All right. Thanks. Also. Okay. Okay. So she's gonna fry the fish. What we got? That's what I'm talking about. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh. Mmm. We gonna eat good. Love that pescado. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> Looks good guys. Looks awesome. Alright. In the comments, what is your favorite fish? And how do you like it? You like it baked, fried? If you like it raw, let me know. Okay. She says she's not a professional guys, but the, the way she moves it and cooks. Like she can be. If she, she's laughing because she knows I'm talking about her. Bueno, okay. yo acostumbro a mm. agregarle sal al ajo para que cuando lo esté macerando mm. no brinque. All right, so she is accustomed to putting some salt and smashing it. She likes to do it with the salt and um, the garlic. It just, I don't know why, but I guess it keeps the flavor together with the side. I don't know how it does that, but man, that fish is smelling lovely. Smelling lovely. Oh man, this is awesome. Ya, ya se yo. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's why that pots there, okay. Just to, you want to over fry it, okay. And then we repeat. Okay, wait a minute. She's trying to see something. Okay, so the potatoes are ready. I guess she wanted to cook it to a, like a pretty much a, a smash consistency, so it's easy to smash. Ah, ya está, ya está. Oh, not many there. Okay. Wow, guys. So the cocoa rice just like put it like a like like boiling milk actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Agregamos el arroz. Como ya 
previo cociné los frijoles con sal y un poquito de azúcar ya no tengo nada que agregarle mm. la leche del coco trae su propio aceite o sea que no necesita agregar más aceite ahí se tiene que cocinar solo So now the rice, the rice is pretty much prepared. You don't have to put anything because everything was already added. Um, pretty much, you saw how she prepared the coconut um, milk extract, and then now they're fusing the rice, white rice, regular white rice, with it. So for those who don't know, basically she came here and did another video, and she was telling me how this is not acceptable at her house. Okay, her mom would kill me if I came to the house with that. My dad. All right, look at her, she's like, what's that? <laughs> so, pretty much, uh, you know, they went ahead and now showing us the, the real steel. All right, guys, she just finished draining the water from the potatoes. They're, they're pretty much in a nice, soft consistency. This is for the salad. All right, so now she's starting with, with the prune, pretty much to chop those things up. She sent me a picture of how the salad should look, so I'm interested to see. I like how she cuts that though. Yeah, I like, you see how she just cuts it like, wow. Check her out, check her out. Like cutting the edges off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you bad, girl, you bad. Do it in Mala. Yeah, she bad, man. Look at that. I'm afraid of her. She know how to walk around with a knife, boy. She know how to do it. <laughs> Go, don't play with her. All right, she top it up. All right, guys. Now, there she goes. She's mixing it up. Mm. I wish you could smell how the room smells right now. It's awesome. That fish is really smelling lovely. Moving all the fish, all the fish seems to be prepared and cooked. She's up to something, guys. She's up to something. What's she, got? What's she about to do? What's she? Okay, she, people do it differently. She, she likes to do it this way, all right? Wow. So, okay, I thought the fish was ready. But she's pretty much just fried it just enough and now she's putting all these ingredients in here and I'm assuming she's going to put the rest of that coconut right here in there. Nice. Oh, yep, there it is. Man. Perfect. Oh, I can smell the coconut right now, guys. Woo. She don't play. Here's a close up of the cocoa rice and basically she said once the rice is done, she's gonna add the beans right here, so. Okay, so she, now she's putting some um, mayo inside to the salad, wow. To get it that nice little tangy um, extra taste, so it's gonna be nice and sweet. Man, this whole food is just gonna be awesome, man. You try it. Mm. Mm. Sí. Vamos a agregar ya los frijoles. Vamos a mezclarlo bien hasta que sea una mezcla homogénea. Yeah, guys, this is awesome. All right, guys. So off camera, she went ahead and put some Maggie. Okay, so just and she added it into the broth right here. Y un poquito también. So now she's gonna put some color into it as well. Super dope. Espero que visiblemente les guste. Eh, bueno, este es el final, nuestro arroz de frijol con coco, pescado sudado en, en salsa de coco y nuestra ensalada roja. Disfrútenla so, con nosotros. Uh -huh. So guys, she basically was saying this is the, the final product of the food pretty much and uh, she wants you guys to enjoy with us, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bite I already tried some of the food right here. The rice is really good. I haven't tried any of the fish. I'm in I'm I'm just excited, so let's dig in, okay? Mmm. No sin antes darle gracias a Dios por estos alimentos. Aprovechando que es la Semana Santa. So we should say thank you God for the food on Holy Week, okay? Bueno. Okay. Uh, 
Disfrute. Ay, yo voy a orar. Ok. Bueno, gracias a Dios por primero por un otro día. Gracias a Dios por esa comida nosotros va a comer. Gracias a Dios por es un mujer espectacular que sabe con, uh, con, comer, uh, sabe a cocinar muy bien para muestra el mundo para muestra el mundo cómo lo cose en Colombia. Hay gente que sabe a cocinar y hay gente de África que es muy rica y muy como un oro. Gracias a Dios por Gracias. todo eso. Yo sé hay gente que no sabe a, co a cocinar. Hay, hay gente que no tiene comida. Y ahora no sabe. Es una cosa muy especial por todo el mundo. Y yo puedo decir Gracias a Dios por todo eso. Y siga bendición a, a nosotros. Y tú eres el rey de todo y, y allá vamos a, a comer. Amén. 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 You know, I gotta give it to you. You know what I'm saying? That's the rice right there. That's the cocoa rice right here. Let me see. There's mm. <laughs> something special about the cocoa rice. It just, man, it's so good. It's so good, man. Ves que es diferente al de el empacado? She said, see, it's different from the package, which is automatically, yes. I just broke into the fish and I'm gonna try it, okay, guys? It's really nice. Uh, you see that? All right. Okay, so she brought some um, sauce just in case you wanna add some. Oh, okay, so basically to base up the, if you wanna put some more sauce. Okay, there you go. All right, let me try some now, okay? Mm. <laughs> she's laughing because she knows she's throwing around. Let me try some of this right here, guys. I'm gonna try some of this. Give me. Mm -hmm. I already tried some. It's good. It's different. That oh. that prune, the prune actually sticks out though. Let me show you. Okay, there you go. All right, now let's try it. Mm. Mm. It's like a potato salad. Prune gives a nice, unique flavor to it. I can't lie. All right, guys. I'm gonna dig in. Guys, you already know. I tore down. I tore down. She tore down too. And she was telling me how she is full. <laughs> Diana. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> all right, girl. All right. Mucho gracias. Con mucho gusto. Y para todos ustedes también. Con muchísimo gusto. Bienvenidos a Colombia. Woo! Hey, she told me I got to pay her, right? In a dance, I gotta dance with her. Then I get by live contigo. See, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna do a dance. Um, I'm gonna make her dance some Haitian music. Esa música compa de mi mi padres. I'm gonna put it on my um, my other social media. So look out for that. All right, guys. Anyways, guys, more on the way. Uh, we're gonna see uh, how I can figure out. Él dice que va a bailar conmigo, pero no. Él va a bailar para ustedes. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna dance for y'all. We'll see. Y'all gotta go see what, uh, the video, okay? <laughs> y'all y'all figure it out, okay? <laughs> y'all yeah, go figure it out. But for the most part, guys, uh, my next plan is to see where I can find an orphanage we were looking. All right? Don't send anything just yet, okay? Because y'all just send this stuff. I like to put... If y'all gonna donate, we're all in one place, okay? So, pretty much, I'm gonna see if I can set up a GoFund, see if it works this time, and then we'll we'll do something, okay? But anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys watching more on the way. Before you leave, hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video and this yeah more on the way guys so we're gonna be doing some more stuff so i think this probably is the end of us cooking maybe we'll find out anyway see you guys in the next video yo